You're very welcome back to the programme now. Amnesty International's annual report this morning has found that the international community is facing millions failing, millions of people forced to flee their homes by conflict, particularly in Syria. Its report on Ireland doesn't make easy reading either. Our reporter Ashing Redden has gone through some of its findings. A sea of tents, now home to an estimated 1.3 million refugees from Syria. This morning, Amnesty International launched its global annual report. It says the international community has failed millions of people forced to flee their homes by conflict, particularly in Syria. The report is a country-by-country -country survey of the human rights record for 2012 of 159 individual countries. So how does Ireland fare? Well, the report highlights problems around prison conditions for young offenders, violence against women and girls, because Ireland has not signed the Council of Europe Convention on Violence Against Women and Domestic Violence, and a lack of clarity over Ireland's abortion laws. It found that Savita Halapanavar's death in October of last year exposed a lack of clarity in legislation and regulations around access to abortion when a woman's life is at risk. It criticises the current proposed legislation by the government and says the timeframes for review procedures are too long and too vague and calls for them to be reviewed. It stresses the proposed 14-year sentence for a woman or doctor obtaining an abortion to be revoked. Amnesty International says Ireland will be out of line with international human rights standards until laws allow for abortion in cases of rape and incest, risk to a woman's health or cases of fatal fetal abnormality. That was Ashing Rudin reporting.